Welcome to Seed to Life. I am back with one more video of Brahmi or Pacopa moniari. In my last video, we gathered enough information about the health benefits of this plant, and now I am going to show you how I am growing this plant at my home. So let's begin. Brahmi is one of the easiest plants to grow. It is actually an aquatic or semi-aquatic plant. It grows in marshlands, near river banks or lakes, ponds and it is one of the very popular aquarium plant. In fact, the seller I purchased it from was an aquarium plant seller. The plant came beautifully packaged. The roots were secured in this rock wool. For those who don't know what rock wool is, it is actually made up of minerals and rocks pulled into fine strings. It is a popular growing media, but so far I have stuck to completely organic and minimally processed growing media like cocoa coir, peat moss, compost and garden soil. Rock wool absorbed water efficiently and kept the roots moist during transit. It was very easy to take out the roots because the rock wool didn't stick to the delicate roots. Brahmi plant is very delicate. The stems feel almost like thin stems of cilantro and they can easily be bruised. You can also grow Brahmi only in plain water with some added hydroponic solution or liquid fertilizers. Unlike many other plants, you can't overwater these plants and kill them. <laughs> that is actually a relief. The plants can stay completely submerged in the water. If they are completely submerged, they tend to grow upright till they reach the surface of the water and then they start creeping on the surface of the water. I decided to grow these plants in a growing media and not water. You can use heavy clay type of soil to grow these plants but I have decided to take a different approach and grow them in cocoa coir. You must be wondering that cocoa coir will make the water muddy as it will float in the water. Using clay is a better choice here since clay will settle down near the bottom of the container or tank and the water would be clear. I didn't have the aquatic growing media so I just went ahead with what I had that was coco coir and also not that I was having any fish in the same vessel. So I was fine with the water getting little bit muddy. Also since it is still winter I was not planning on growing these plants outside so it was important for me to have a clean growing media. I had this beautiful fish tank gravel. After adding a layer of coco coir I covered that with this gravel. That way the growing media stayed near the bottom and gave me a sound base to insert the plants in. Brahmi grows well in acidic to neutral soil with pH ranging between 5.5 to 7.3 and it is not a fussy plant. Uh, the desirable water temperature is between 8 to 20 degrees Celsius or 46 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit and the desired air temperature is 16 to 28 degrees Celsius or 60 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. It doesn't tolerate cold that well. The optimal temperature is 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit but recently we went through a much lower temperatures during a snowstorm and even though there was no power so no heat my plants did not show any signs of distress which is amazing. That means they are resilient. Some common pests that affect these plants are caterpillars of peacock butterflies and sometimes tobacco cutworms. If you are growing the, uh, these plants indoors then it shouldn't be a problem. I noticed some fruit flies near this spot. You can use a sticky trap for these gnats or you can use neem oil or a BT solution to control them. I have already prepared this spot now and let's plant these cuttings. Since the cuttings were wrapped in this rock wool, I am going to wash them properly to remove any fragments of rock wool or other chemicals because these were not organically grown plants. They were actually sold as aquarium plants. To secure the cuttings in the soil, I am using this kebab stick and creating some space for these cuttings with the stick and quickly inserting the cuttings gently. The nodes above the rooted parts will also grow new roots once they are in the water. As long as the roots are uniformly moist, we are all good.
A big thanks to you for watching my videos and supporting my channel Seed to Life. Please click subscribe for more such videos and updates. Click the bell icon to get notified about future videos. And feel free to reach out to me through comments, Facebook, Twitter or Instagram if you have any questions. I am posting the links in the description. I would love to hear your suggestions and would like to know the news of your garden. Happy gardening. Thank you again. See you soon.